Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. Welcome back to my channel. I'm out here applying gopher and mole bait. I was, thought maybe somebody else would like to uh, have some instructions on that. Now of course there's instructions on the back of the bottle. Um, after all the dangers of the bottle and stuff. But I was just going to show real quick how I how I like to do it. Um, some applicating things will say to use any sort of object to poke holes, which is technically true. Um, this is what I'm using. It's just a piece of like three quarter inch rod. This happens to have a hole in the end because it was a pin, it had a pin in it at one point. Um, but the reason I like to use something that's uh, blunt, I mean, I'm working in really hard uh, clay, but if your ground is soft, you know, if you have really nice dirt, something that's sharp will just pierce right in and you might not actually know when you found a tunnel um, so this is how I like to do it let me find a mound that I haven't already done this one might be good so you can tell when you have a gopher these are gophers that I have they're not moles um, they, you'll see these nice fresh pushed up piles of dirt now you could just take your shovel and dig right into this and you might find a tunnel in there but the way I like to do it is I take my my stick and you go about four, six, eight inches or so out from his his hole and you just start pushing. So that one sunk in kind of easy. I don't think that's a good tunnel there. And you just keep kind of going around here, pushing in pretty firm. Yeah, kind of sank in. I don't think that's a tunnel. We want to find an active right there. There it was. So, my stick fell in here pretty easy. So what I like to do then is we need to put our hand in there and feel around. Yep, so there's a tunnel going that way and a tunnel going that way, which means I struck right in the middle of a tunnel. So that's perfect. So I grab our bait here. And we sprinkle a little bit in. I like to take a rock, plug the hole with a rock, and take some of his nice dirt that he provided us and sprinkle it over the top. And the only reason I do it that way is because if you were to just put dirt straight down in there, it's very likely you'll cover up the bait and he might not, you know, find it as attractive and he might realize his tunnel was disturbed, so he might just shove it all back full of dirt and not uh, come and get the stuff. So yeah that's uh my method i'm going to continue out here because i have a i have a whole field to do because when i was out here mowing the other day i realized i got about i don't know 40 or 50 new mounds out there so i was trying to trap them in like a little trap kills them but it was only working obviously one gopher at a time and they started catching on i guess to what i was doing because they started just pushing them full of dirt pushing the traps full of dirt so yeah, hope somebody gets something out of this, and I hope to catch you guys in the next one.